Hi, I'm Nate Jansen from the CNB Operations Integrated Solutions Support Center. And today we're going to talk about properly setting up documentation on your GS2 or GS3 display. For starters, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and open up our menu. Depending on your display, you'll want to select the Green Star button. With Green Star 2 2600s, the icon will look like it is on the page. In GS3 2630s, this icon will say GS3 on it. When you open the Green Star button, we're going to go down to the soft key G, also labeled as Resources. We want to make sure that we're selecting our Client, Farm, and Field. Those are the three essential steps to auto tracking and documentation. In order to properly set up documentation, we want to open this list and select the task that we're going to complete. In this case, we're going to set up a planting task and double check that our crop season says the current year. We'll then move on the right hand side down to soft key I, labeled as document. When we enter this page, you'll see at the top that there will be tabs. Mine is labeled as planting slash seeding and a new tab. We want to make sure that the task that we are completing or the items we want to record are the only tabs at the top. So in this case, we've hooked up to a planter and our planting and seeding task has automatically populated. To properly set up the documentation, you'll see there's an asterisk by the seed type at the top center of the screen. In this blank box, we'll open it up and select the crop that we're about to plant. We'll select corn, and now you'll see on the left hand side that the Add Variety button is now available to select. Press into Add Variety, and now our display is going to ask us for a brand, a variety, and a color to associate with each variety of crop. In my case, I'll select brand 1, the 1954 variety, and I'm going to leave the color that's there. When I've made my selection, I can go ahead and press Accept. You'll notice that the 1954 variety has been assigned to all 24 rows of my planter. This will automatically happen for the first variety that we enter on this page. If we're planting more than one variety at once, we want to go up and add a second variety by selecting the Add Variety button. The process is the same as we just completed. So again, we come up and select a brand. Our second variety that we'll be planting. And again, a color that we're going to associate with that variety. When we've made our selection, we go and press Accept. Here now you'll notice, once I've added my second variety, that brown color has been added from rows 13 to 24. This will automatically happen for the first two varieties we assign. Now to make sure that we are properly documenting our planting correctly, we can take and assign varieties to certain sets of rows. In most cases, we'll be planting one variety across all row units on a planter. So you'll notice that we've got an Assign Variety to Rows icon in the center of the page. Go ahead and select that icon, and here it's going to ask you to select a variety and tell the display which rows that variety is planting on. If I'm only planting this 1954 variety, my start row will be 1, and my end row will be 24. When that's completed, I can go to the next page using the icon in the bottom right. And here, since we've assigned one variety to the entire width of the planter, there's no need to select a variety on this page. When I press Accept on the previous page, that will now take and assign the 1954 variety to all 24 rows. This allows us to properly set up our documentation when it comes to a planting task. Again, I'll emphasize that at the top of the page where there's a corn, 
and a new tab, we only want to have tabs for the operations that we're completing. If you're running a rate controller and applying starter fertilizer, there will be another tab for that task. And now we've properly set up documentation to record on our GS2 or GS3 display. Thank you for watching and for choosing CNB Operations, committed to being your dealer of choice.